there will be a shared autonomy fleet where you buy your car and you can choose to use that car exclusively. Um, you could choose to um, have it be used only by friends and family, only by uh, five star uh, other drivers who are rated five star. You can choose to uh, share it sometimes, but not other times. Um, that's that's that's. 100% what will occur. It's just a question of when. Yeah. Well, what are we seeing here? Yeah, so this is um, using only cameras and a GPS. So there's no LiDAR or radar being used here. This is just using passive optical, which is essentially what a person uses. Um, the, the whole road system is meant to be navigated with uh, passive optical or, or cameras. And so once you solve cameras, uh, or vision, uh, then autonomy is solved. If you don't solve vision, it's not solved. So that, that's why our focus is so heavily on having a, a vision neural net that's very effective for road conditions. Right. Many other people are going the LiDAR route. You, you want cameras plus radar is, is most of it. You can absolutely be superhuman with just cameras. Hmm. Like you could probably do 10 times better than humans with just, just cameras. So, so the new cars being sold right now have, have uh, eight, eight cameras in them. That, yeah. that they, they can't yet do what that showed. Um, when will they be able to? Um, I think the, we're still on track for being able to go um, cross-country from L.A. to New York by the end of the year, fully autonomous. Um, and okay, so, 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 so a car, by the end of the year, you're saying yeah. that someone's going to sit in a Tesla without touching the steering wheel, tap in New York, mm -hmm. off it goes. Yeah. One. So an even yeah. bigger part of your time is being spent on, on um, electrifying cars and transport through Tesla. Um, is, is one of the motivations for the, for the tunneling project, the realization that actually in a world where cars are electric and where they're, they're self-driving, there may end up being more cars on the roads on any given hour yeah. than there are now. Yeah, the, the, exactly. The <clears throat> a, a lot of people think that once, when you make cars autonomous, that they'll be able to go faster and that will alleviate congestion. Um, and to some degree, that will be true. Uh, but once you have shared autonomy, where it's much cheaper to go by car and you can go point to point, um, the affordability of of going in a car will be, will be better than that of a bus. Like, it would cost less than a bus ticket. So um, the amount of driving that will occur will be much greater with shared autonomy, and actually traffic will get far worse. I mean, you, you started Tesla with the, with the goal of, of persuading the world to that electrification was the future of cars. Yes. And a few years ago, people were laughing at you. Now, but, not so much. I mean... Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't I it... Know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe some, but isn't it, true that, isn't it true that pretty much every auto manufacturer has announced serious electrification plans for the m short to medium term future? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, um, the, I, I think almost every automaker has, has some electric vehicle program. They vary in seriousness. Some, some are very serious about transitioning entirely to electric, um, and some are just dabbling in it. Um, and some, amazingly, are still pursuing fuel cells, but I think that won't last much longer. But isn't, isn't, there, isn't there a sense, though, Elon, where you, you, you could now just declare victory and say, you know, we did it, let, let, let the world electrify, and you go on and focus on other stuff? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, well, I intend to stay with Tesla as, as far into the future as I can imagine. Um, and uh, there are a lot of exciting things that we have coming. Uh, we've got, um, obviously, the Model 3 that's coming soon. Uh, we'll be unveiling the uh, Tesla semi truck. Um, and okay, maybe... well, we're going we're to come yeah. to this. So, okay. so, so, Model Three. So, it's coming. It's supposed to be coming in July, ish. Yeah, it, it's looking quite good for starting production in July. Yeah. Wow. Um, one of the things that people are so excited about is is the fact that it, it's um, it's got autopilot, and um, you you put out this video a while back showing what that um, what that technology look sure. like or would look like. Yeah. Um, there's obviously autopilot in Model S right now. Yeah. Well, what are we seeing here? Yeah, so this is um, using only cameras and a GPS. So there's no LiDAR or radar being used here. 
This is just using passive optical, which is essentially what a person uses.、Um, the, the whole road system is meant to be navigated with、uh, passive optical or, or cameras. And so, once you solve cameras、uh, or vision,、uh, then autonomy is solved. If you don't solve vision, it's not solved. So that, that's why our focus is so heavily on having a, a vision neural net that's. Very effective for road conditions, right? Many other people are going the lidar route. You, you want cameras plus radar is is most of it. You can absolutely be superhuman with just cameras.、Hmm. Like you could probably do ten times better than humans with just just cameras. So, so the new cars being sold right now have have、uh, eight eight cameras in them. That, yeah. That they they can't yet do what that showed.、Um, when will they be able to?、Um, I think. The, we're still on track for being able to go、um, cross-country from LA to New York by the end of the year, fully autonomous.、Um, okay, so, so, so a car, by the end of the year, you're saying、yeah. someone's going to sit in a Tesla without touching the steering wheel, tap in New York,、mm-hmm. off it goes. Yeah, won't have to ever touch the wheel by the end of 2017. Yeah, essentially. November or December of this year, we should be able to go from yeah, all the way from a parking lot in California to a parking lot in New York, no controls touched at any point during the entire journey. And <laughs> amazing.、But、part of that is possible because you've already got a fleet of Teslas driving all these roads. You're you're、yeah. you're accumulating a huge amount of data、mm-hmm. of that national <clears throat> road system. Yes, but. The thing that will be interesting is that I, I, I'm, I'm actually fairly confident it will be able to do that route,、um, even if you change the route dynamically.、Hmm. So, like it's it's fairly easy. To, if, if you say I'm going to be really good at one specific route, that's one thing. But I,、um, it should be able to go really be very good. Suddenly, once you enter a highway, to go anywhere on the highway system in, in a given country. Um, it's, so it's not it's not sort of limited to LA, New York. We could we could change it, and make it Seattle, Florida,、hmm. that that day, or you know, in real time. So you were going from LA to New York. Now go from、uh, LA to Toronto. So so leaving aside regulation for a second, the, in terms of the technology alone,、um, the the time when someone will be able to buy one of your cars and literally just. Take the hands off the wheel and go to sleep, and wake up and find that they've arrived. How far away is that? To do that, I、safely? think that's about that's about two years. The, the, so the, the the real trick of it is not, you know, how do you make it work? Say 99.9 percent of the time, because like, like if if a car crashes, say one in a thousand times, then it, you're probably still not going to be comfortable falling asleep.、Um, that, that's, you know, you shouldn't be certainly.、Um, <laughs> Uh, so, so, but it's but it's, by the same token, it's not going to be. It's never going to be perfect. No system is going to be perfect. But if you say it's perhaps,、um, it's it, it the, the car is unlikely to crash in a hundred lifetimes or a thousand lifetimes, then people are like, okay, wow. If I would live a thousand lives, I would still most likely never experience a crash. Then that's probably okay. To sleep. Maybe I guess the big concern of yours is that people may actually get. Seduced too early to think that this is safe, and,、yeah. and that you'll have some horrible incident happen that puts things puts things back. Well, I think that the autonomy system is likely to at least mitigate the、uh, the, the crash,、um, except in rare circumstances. And, uh, and the, the thing to appreciate about、uh, vehicle safety is this is this is probabilistic.、Right. So that there is, I mean, there's some chance that any time the human driver gets in the car, that they will have an accident. That is their fault. Mm. Um, it's it's never zero,、um, and so, so the, the really it's the, the key threshold for autonomy is how much better does autonomy need to be、uh, than a person before you can rely on it. But once you get that hand, literally safe hands-off driving, the, the the power to disrupt the whole industry seems massive because at that point you've spoken of people being able to buy a car, drops you off、yeah. at work, and then you let it go. And and、uh, provide a sort of Uber-like service to other people, earn you money,、right. maybe even cover the cost of your lease of that car. Exactly. So you can kind of get a car for free. Is that is that really likely? Yeah, I, I, absolutely. This is what will happen. So there will be a shared autonomy fleet where you buy your car, 
And you can choose to use that car exclusively. Um, you could choose to um, have it be used only by friends and family, only by uh, five star, uh, other drivers who are rated five star. You can choose to uh, share it sometimes, but not other times. Um, that's, that's, that's 100% what will occur. It's just a question of when.